All right, back to randomizer world. We've done a little bit more experimentation. We've trimmed a couple of things more out of the possible pool of randomization logic. Uh, basically in an attempt to try and trim back or pair back the number of unlocks versus blueprints because that way it increases the chance of there being things random and uh, things that would otherwise just give them the normal ingredient. So finding if there was a discrepancy, oh we are in the worst possible spawn, fantastic. Um, Ion power cell is sea glide. Okay, excellent, because that's a zero out of two. Uh, filtered water we already have, always have. Uh, mobile vehicle bay is the ultra high capacity tank. Sheet plant pot is from the II, and something else that we missed. What else have I got that I didn't expect to see? Oh, the thermal rack model, of course. Okay, that was the whole fish, sorry, not my eye. Whole fish. Uh, so, Sea Glide. Honk. Is the Iron Power Cell. Excellent. I love that you get that little hint. It's kind of fun. Um, it's the first thing you should normally scan anyway, unless you can definitely see that you don't care about it. So, sweet chair. Um, but yes, basically last run discovered that if you have something, there's a difference in the unlocks, the potential unlocks and the number of blueprints, so there's too many unlocks, then the thing that it would normally unlock will just always be there. Like we had the cooked Gary fish, for example, was meant to be one of the rocket stages. But because that flag from the Garyfish wasn't randomized, it was just its normal self as well. So then we didn't know when we came to build the rocket that it was something different. I still linger. Already have. Fantastic. Bunch of fish cooking. Okay. That's our duds. Neptune fuel reserve we already have. And sea moth. That's interesting. Ultra Glide fins must have been a beacon. Moonpool scanner room. Okay, scanner room would then have cascaded into four more checks, that's why. Okay, we are starting to get a lot of stuff. Peeper, uh, what do we got here? This is very disjointed, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to explain things very badly, which doesn't help. Boomerang gets us picture frame and synthetic fibers okay uh what do we still need here i was hoping you were gonna drop a tooth for me gary fish would be good grab the contraband uh, yes he did drop a tooth excellent good early check okay what do you get cured regional <laughs> fantastic uh, pick up a couple of these. Gets us. Really do need a little info display. Nuclear waste disposal. Fantastic. Gary fish. Hello. Gives us drill arm and fire suppression system. Excellent. Right, as we were, <laughs> that's all the fish in this area. But yeah, the, the randomizer logic's a bit complicated. Um, it kind of needs to work backwards instead, so it, it goes through all of the goals. It seems, or no, it goes through all of the blueprints and then randomly assigns goals to them. And if one of those goals does not get replaced, then it remains the same as it always would have instead of being something different. Where it, it should ideally become nothing, but instead it remains what it normally was, which means you lack the kind of hinting. Fiber mesh is good to have already. Oh, in fact, that's really good to have already because we can get that out of our inventory. <laughs> nice. Uh, we will need one more of those. 
Uh, we should also be concentrating on making a base before it becomes night time. That's always the thing that I forget that I'm supposed to be doing. Don't need to worry about getting sea glide or anything early. So we should just be making sure that we make our base. I went into a different cave than I was expecting, it turns out. Oh, because I'm even further south than what I thought that I was. Okay. This <laughs> is a really bad starting spot for anything normal. Uh, so Ion Power Cell will be able to make immediately from this. Fortunately, we don't know how to make the batteries that go into them, but, you know. Uh, pop. 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 We'll actually grab one of those. We need two of them in case we need a laser cutter, which ideally we won't. But some wrecks need them. The Aurora needs it. We've kind of removed the Aurora from the random pool. <laughs> if you don't get the Neptune from something else, the idea is that remains as a backup. So you always know that you can start the rocket by going to the Aurora. It's just a... Yeah for the sake of it, sort of safety valve that I decided to make for myself. Very rare that that would be required. Um, we don't actually need to go back to the... Um, well, actually, we, we will, because we want to change that into fiber mesh. And we'll grab the food out as well, give us a bit of a head start on things. Um, but we never need to come back here again necessarily, so let's put our base somewhere more convenient. Um, the southern spawns over here isn't too bad. It's probably a bit high, but never mind. Solar panel, we probably can get away with just one. It's very rare that we're going to be running out of anything. Power restored. All primary systems online. Even dual fabricator is kind of over the top. I have cut the table coral yet. And we need more titanium. So, table coral. Two, three, four. Okay, we'll try and make a computer chip immediately as well if we can. You're collecting a bunch of stuff in here, that's nice. Cool. Um, okay, we need a couple of wire first. Uh, sure, we'll make a wiring kit. I don't think it matters, but we'll make one. Uh, time to put a bunch of stuff into here that we don't need yet. Cool. Let's get some more sandstone. So we had the lesson last time that you want to kind of make the rocket as soon as possible so that way you know what you need for the various stages of it but you then have to like write it down or something i guess otherwise you might forget and that would be that would be bad because there's no other way to track what it unlocks but otherwise you're going to have to go searching for things later if you don't keep in mind what it requires so it's you know six one half the other it's a bit of a compromise one way or the other uh, mobile vehicle bay, was this useful? I feel it was something useful. I can't remember what it was, but I think it was something useful. So arm power cell was from the... Oh, it was the ultra high capacity tank, that's right. So that is kind of handy. We have one oxygen tank, we'll want to make a second. Now we're always stuck behind needing, not stuck per se, but it's always tedious when you don't have the high capacity O2 tank. We don't know where that is. 
<laughs> we might not find out for a very long time, if ever. So, <laughs> we're not going to fixate on it, we're just going to work around it. Ooh, a lot of stuff. Just getting lots of materials for now. Let's chuck down a second locker, we might need it. And you know what, let's just chuck down a wall locker as well, because that might also be handy. Now we want a copper wire. Let's make a few of these. So we're probably going to need them. Uh, let's grab these out again and make a computer chip. Making computer chips a check normally unlocks the advanced wiring kit. Mobile vehicle bay. Yeah, that's something we definitely wanted. Okay, that's very useful. Because that's something you don't want to be stuck behind. Um, that said, we don't know how to make lubricant yet, so we're still stuck behind that. Uh, let's just make some glass. And sure, let's make some more glass. So that would be enough to upgrade a couple of O2 tanks in future. Um, do we have any spare metal in here? We don't. Well, let's just chuck all of this stuff in here for now. Okay, we could make a um, air tool now, in fact. You always start with that as a thing. It gives you a free battery, as well as the ability to unlock certain wrecks. Uh, I think we just need to keep going foraging at this point. So, uh, which way are we going? Here we go. There's more fish in this area, so hoverfish, hoopfish. New creature discovered. Hoverfish, need a hoopfish normally in this area as well. Boomerang, I'm fairly sure we've already picked up. Come on, hoopfish. Not hanging around. There we go. Oops. Good. Oh, oh. Rebreather. Orange tablets. Dip module mark two. And spotlight. Okay. <laughs> oh, and trash can. Fantastic. So, since we can't really see what we're doing at night time and we don't have much in the way of oxygen tanks, the best thing to do for now is to just go around the shallows and see what there is at wrecks and hope to get something juicy so down here we've got counter lab counter what's this gonna give me double bed okay <laughs> grav trap Sure. Maybe ultra glide fins, that went out too, or basic plant, one of the two. Sea glide, sure, we'll do that. There's a laser cutter down there as well. We'll get oxygen first. Don't have a spare tank yet. Sea moth, one out of three. Single wall shelf, okay. <laughs> so we don't need sea moth. Good to know. Spadefish, pick up. Laser cutter. Reginald to be another one. Fire reactor. Reginald's usually around the uh, spire parts, as opposed to the uh, main areas, so we'll have to go a little bit further for him. It's fine, we'll continue our X search first. So what else we unlock here? Battery charger? Okay, well that could be handy. Um, uh, 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 what else we got? Cured II. And we've got Cook Reginald as laser cutter, Cook Boomerang as bioreactor. So we don't need to care about any of those. So no fragments in the red grass are useful. Beacon. Ultra glide fins was the beacon. Okay. I thought I'd only scanned one of those. I guess I must have got one earlier. Um, so that means the grav trap must have been the plant pot. So we don't need grav trap anymore. Uh, sea glide we've already got. Uh, mobile vehicle bay was the ultra high capacity tank. Which would be good to have. 
or later once we get the high capacity tank. <laughs> We've got a prerequisite problem there, but let's just grab some metal, why not? Finish off that one. Good to have. Also means those are a free overscan option for titanium. Now Northern Wreck, we get the chance to um, get the trash can. We can pop over to get the compass. Just kind of doing ever increasing circles. We want to head to the bulb zone, preferably before the radiation expands, unless we get the radiation suit. That gives us an option to defer that, instead do other things that are closer. Trash can, there's a composite plant box, grav trap, we're just going to clear so that way it's an overscan option for extra titanium. Let's go get the compass data box and hit up the wreck on the way, because the wreck can have a few things in it. Wondering when to go to the mountain, because obviously you can go there without having to worry about oxygen or anything. Bench. Okay, we'll get the bench. Swivel chair. Okay. Um, floodlight. There we go. Yeah, there's. It's really hard to scan this one. And desk. Radiation suit. Okay, so we have the radiation suit, so we can actually defer the bulb zone a bit if we want to. I don't, don't know why stasis rifle is here. It makes no sense. It should be propulsion cannon, not stasis rifle. <laughs> it never made sense to me. Uh, let's go to the life pod. I guess the restriction on disc the restriction on leaving the bulb zone to later, now that we have the radiation suit, is oxygen because you can't have your rebreather on at the same time. So it's a bit of a pain in the bee. But it's not the end of the world. Underwater islands I don't want to go to yet because I need a bigger tank. Or do I? Actually we don't. We just need to be able to make a safety base, which we can't. So either way, not a smart move. Uh, let's head back this way. Now uh, we know none of the red grass things are useful. Let's just grab some more titanium on the way back. We're going to need it. One way or another. Minimum you need uh, three ingots worth because you need um, to make the rocket base and the mobile vehicle bay in the first place. So that's that's three ingots. And then whatever else that it decides to throw at you <laughs> in terms of what the rocket parts need. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where we get the base from. Because we're so far south, we may as well just take a bit of a ticky tour and go past the other wrecks. Though the counter we know isn't anything useful, come to think of it. Hmm. I guess scanner room is the other red grass fragment that we don't have knowledge of yet, so maybe. Maybe it'll be handy. Maybe we head north a little bit further. Seven things, hang on. What? <laughs> Radiation suit. One out of two on Neptune Gantry. Stasis rifle, okay. So stasis rifle is Neptune Gantry. That's oh, just all the stuff that we got that didn't clear. Okay. Stasis rifle is the gantry. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Again, it's not actually the gantry, but we want to have the blueprints for it. Scanner room. That's just. Oh, I forgot there was a nuclear waste disposal here. I usually get it from the um, hatching enzymes. Okay, fantastic. Well, that's that's a good find. Um, I usually get it from the Deep Grand Degacy base. Which means that the only thing there is this, well, single bed if you don't want to go to the Aurora. 
and the um, orange tab. We can eat this now, get rid of it. So that's quite handy. The orange tablet we know about, but it's not the same. Single bed, one out of three. I forget what that was. That was like C1 or something. So we need another stasis rifle. Hopefully we get a stasis rifle just at the uh, jelly shroom cave. There is a coffee vending machine over here that normally we would get from the Deep Grand Degacy base as well. We're just kind of reducing the number of checks that we have down there. And it's like, well, if we really need to check out and see if the orange tablet is something, then we can, but otherwise it'd be good if we don't have to. I mean, it's nice to get the single bed from there so you don't go to the Aurora. So, coffee vending machine is... Vortex Torpedo. Okay. <laughs> A vending machine is over here. I think, yeah, trash can we already have, vending machine. And we go over towards the Aurora. Scanner room hardship, okay. Um, go over to where we can get maybe a bridge blooper, or oh, blood, bleh. keep doing that. Bridge fragment, not lidge blueprint. Um, bridge fragment and an engine fragment would be nice. Also, if I can pick up a free power cell from a backpack again, it would be really nice. And then we're not blocked on that. Seems pretty common from back here. Some water. Any fragments? There's a engine fragment. Another box as well. It over. over here, so we're a little bit further away from where the Reaper might be. Hydrochloric acid is engine fragment. Okay, so we need that. Well, here's two more. <laughs> so that's these done. Hydrochloric acid is nice, if nothing else, because it itself is a check. Okay, he's hanging around. Why would you not? I thought he was going after the um, stalker. Ocean cannon fragment. Oh, there's a power transmitter there too. Let's get oxygen first. So hydrochloric acid we now have. Stereo grow bed. Water filtration machine is propulsion cannon, I guess. Okay. What's the exterior grow bed? Uh, uh, where was the power transmitter? I saw one around here. There. It's one fewer things to get from the bulb zone. Ion battery. Fantastic. Okay, that is really big. We need to get some ion cubes, <laughs> but once we do, I think we go to the mountain early in that case. We go to the mountain much earlier than we normally would. Let's just get this, why not? Whatever. Water filtration machine, sure. <laughs> med kits. I don't want med kits. <laughs> I want a power cell. <laughs> so then I don't need to find the blueprint for it. Um, I also want bridge fragments, but you're not giving me those either. Here's one. Let's see what bridges. Let's get another chance at power cells. Nope. <laughs> Rude. Uh, I thought there was sandstone here. Where was the sandstone? Silver. But we need oxygen first, so let's do that. was just from getting the filtration machine. Yep, let's just clear that. Let's just drink one of those. Don't need that many first aid kits, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, what was the bridge was the other thing. There's the silver. I do want silver. Lead. I couldn't care less about it. 
So what other one out of three was there? An unusual doll. Okay, so Markiplier is the bridge. So we don't need that. I guess I could go to life pod seven. I'm kind of close enough. I don't think I have enough oxygen. <laughs> I need a bigger tank, or I need a spare tank. In fact, I haven't made a spare tank. There's a bit of a problem for me. Uh, let's drop some of these. I want to pick up some more gold on the way if I can. I already have too much lead, I think. So I'll drop any of that that I come across. I just want gold and maybe silver. Silver's kind of handy to have. Uh, there's nothing in here, is there? Oh, there's a backpack. Oh, it's just water. Um, there's no... Oh, there is data box. Cyclops Dip Module Mark 3. Well, I've got it. <laughs> it's one less... One less thing to have to find. Uh, sure, we'll take the water as well, and then we'll just drink it immediately. Keeps me going. Bar table. I don't think I've scanned one of those yet. 30 seconds. I also haven't picked up original yet. Let's get oxygen and do that. Or we'll do that and then get oxygen, I guess. What the fuck was that? Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's been really heavy winds here, and a frond from the palm tree out front just landed on the roof or the gutter and is now in the uh, edge out front. It's just this big thunk and a shadow went past the window. I'm like, what the hell? It was that. We really need to get rid of that palm tree. It's it's not useful for anything. <laughs> it just keeps defoliating itself. Let's Reginald. Hello. Good. Drop. Gold, please. Good. See so your next step. I'm going to swap the battery out of my repair tool into my sea glide. Okay, we're just going to leave that empty for now. We'll, we'll swap something into it if we need it. Um, we need to make a spare oxygen tank so that we can more easily go to the underwater islands because we may as well on the way. We'll just deconstruct the wreck there. That's a glitch I don't mind performing. <laughs> easier than navigating corridors. The underwater islands wreck, it's a safe one to deconstruct entirely. Uh, nothing disappears, I don't believe, when you deconstruct it. And... Oh good, I do have enough space. Uh, let's just make a couple of ingots, I'll need them anyway. I can also make the mountain base while I'm at it. So we'll keep a couple of silver on me so I can make uh, batteries when I get there. So I'll need two quartz. One more titanium. Crash was blowing up somewhere. Um, yeah, one more titanium. A table coral. Let's get that now while I'm thinking of it. Also, let's swap that now while I'm thinking of it. Oh, there's a stalker around here. A couple of stalkers around here. Let's grab a bunch of those. Most of them in here again, except for one. Right. Uh, yeah, so keep those two on me so I can make two ion batteries when I get there. Uh, ditch that because I don't need it, unless I want to make a laser cutter, but I don't think I know how. What else are the blueprints we have? Wall planter. Seamop dip module, cyclop dip module, cooked reginald. Uh, it was cooked reginald from the reginald, probably. It's probably one that didn't get randomized. Oh well. Uh, let's go mountain. So I need another couple of titanium, I think. How many do we have? We have six, we need seven, so we only need one more. I'll over scan this and get two, that's fine. Oh. And then we need uh, three quartz. Yeah, well, we'll just dip in here and get three quartz. One, two, three. Good. 
Yep. We'll get three gold from the mountain when we get there. I guess we could do with one more titanium, in fact, in order to get, uh, in order to make a wall locker when we get there, but we can maybe overscan something when we do. So we can either make a safety base or just blitz the underwater islands area. We just blitz it. So we're modifying what we would normally do slightly. Like normally I'd try and go to the likes of the bulb zone and stuff and leave the mountain until later because it's pretty safe. But because I don't have the high capacity oxygen tank, I want to head to the mountain first because I don't need the extra oxygen requirement. I'm going to get a little bit creative by going past the underwater islands wreck first. We could also do the northernmost uh, red grass wreck. Because that would have a couple of data boxes. Actually, that's a good idea. I should go across there. Um, I'm close enough to the underwater islands that I may as well just go there now. But Or am I? Did I get lost? I think I got lost? Where the hell am I? Oh no, I'm this, this little bit. I just didn't go quite far enough. I'm not used to going slowly. Um, yeah, so Red Grass Wreck will have a few checks. It's got picture frame, it's got all the plant pots, it's got the light stick, it's got a battery charger. A lot of stuff. So that's that's worth checking out as well. Underwater Islands has a bunch of data boxes. And because it's the safe wreck, or one of the safe wrecks just to deconstruct, pretty safe to explore even with limited oxygen if you cheese it you can also just like build a base outside to just respawn in i would rather just make the wreck disappear than death warp a bunch of times so you know pick your poison basically you either cheese the deaths or you cheese the collision respawn. <laughs> don't need that there's a bunch of stuff in here. We do have a spare oxygen tank. Oh, there's plant pots here too. <clears throat> so we're just going to go until our oxygen is practically depleted and then fill up with our tank. We do have stocked up. Let's check that. Uh, floodlight. Yeah, good enough. Let's just go up now. Going up. I think it's sound fade because it thinks we're drowning. Maybe it is just better to die in a base and respawn because it might just be faster than going up and down. This should be the only time we need to do that though, really. So indoor grow bed was from whatever chair it was that we scanned. Uh, we're one out of two on enameled glass and I don't know why. And benzene. Oh, drill arm? So drill arm we must have been one of those things, I guess. We needed to find a stasis rifle as well for the uh, gantry. Oh, we didn't refill our backup tank. Let's do that. We get funky music the longer we stay here as well, so I'm cool with that. <laughs> not an area we normally spend a lot of time, so it's nice to get the soundtrack. So, drill arm is either useful or not. Is that benzene or is it the other thing? That's benzene, okay, so that's not useful. Um, Neptune cockpit! Okay, that's very useful. <laughs> Glad we came here then. So that's the alien containment. Which we could have got from a bunch of other places anyway. Cell charger fragments. So we're going to have a bunch of stuff at one out of two. Is that a... Yeah, stasis rifle. Good. So that's two Neptune fragments. So that's good. It's very nice to have. Our prawn suit we can actually get a hint on. As well as the claw arm, we can see what that is this time around and see if it's anything we should be concerned about. <laughs> uh, let's go up. Okay, so it turns out making a safety base probably quicker than going up and down all the time. Wow. 
But never mind. Fill up our tanks, drink our water, why not? So we have gantry fuel reserve, and we're just missing the um, platform itself, so I mean, that would be handy. And the boosters. Primitive defense systems, that's probably the uh, propulsion arms, so we kind of don't care about that. Scanner room range upgrade is the claw bit, the 1 out of 20, so we don't need to care about that this time, that's good. Uh, what's 1 out of 4? Cooked magmarang is the prawn suit, so we don't need to care about that either. Enamel glass we now do have, so I don't know what that was that we got, but... I don't remember scanning a second thing. Who knows. We did, uh... We did that, yep, good. Uh, the creature decoy data box, we'll check that. We'll just clear everything else as well. Oh, that's that's alien containment. Well, <laughs> just shifted data boxes. Now uh, we'll get some extra titanium. I think we need to do anyway. What are you, Sea Glide? Okay. Well, if we lose our current one, Prawn Suit Jump Jet Upgrade. Okay. I mean, all of these are things that we know that the uh, rocket is not. So that's nice. Prawn Chair, Power Cell, Charge Fragment. Oh, we already got that, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, we did refill that. Another box. Yeah, new chip block, sure, why not? That's kind of handy. It's just another claw arm. I think we're done here. I think we're done here. Oh, another chair. Office chair. That's all of the chairs you get here, I think. Oh, a cheap plant. Advanced wiring kit. Well, that's handy. All right, I think we're pretty much done. So I think to the mountain now, we've got a lot of good stuff by coming here. I'm glad we made the trip. Because uh, we were going to at some point, but if I had not done it now, I might have put it off for much later. And yeah, good to just get this Neptune bits especially known about. Advanced wiring kit, useful if we need to make any of that stuff. Uh, sea glide in case we somehow lose our current one. Depth module Mark Two, Mark Three, and perimeter system. Okay, That's a few things. Any containment. Interesting. Ah, scanner room. Something gave us scanner room, which then gave us four other things. Gotcha. That makes sense. So I was going to go to the mountain, I'm going to quickly bypass over here first, I'm going to go over to the red grass wreck that's across this way. Yes it's a little bit out of the way, it's a little bit slow, but I'm going to be making a base at the mountain and then I can always death walk from there in order to get all the way back, which I think I'm probably going to want to do. Basically I don't want to have to go over Mabel. I can avoid it. Oh, it's so far out of the way though. I should have gone here first before the underwater islands. Mental note. In future, go here first and then the underwater islands. Oh, way too much titanium. Over scanned way more than I needed. Oh, did I? No, I didn't. Let's fill up our spear tank as well, because we might need it. Because we want to go to the uh, life pod actually first as well. It's the other box. There's a data box over here, so we'll see what that is. Normally it's the ultra glide fins, I think. So we'll see what that is. Death module of some sort. Which we already have, so that's annoying. Some of that. We do not need that much titanium, I think. Oh, actually, we did need two more. We need nine. Oh, no, I, I didn't need those two. That's now nine. I can count, honest. So let's come on in here. We've got power cell. Good, good. Modification station fragments. Don't know what that is yet, so I don't know if I want to scan the other one. Battery charger fragments. 
this so, and disc already in PDA floodlights already there let's just get out of here then there is two more modification station if it's something I want if it's not something I want I will just go down the other side instead fill up our tanks so we got power cell from one of the data boxes that's nice laser cutter okay so modification station is laser cutter that could be handy and battery charger is energy efficiency module which is not okay so we'll go back down and grab the modification station fragments because laser cutter might be something we need normally you would need it to get in here but we can exploit a little collision gap there so there's one there and then one just downstairs I don't remember if there's a light stick down here or not. No. That would be handy. Up we come, out we go, and now around the other side. Now we have whatever plant pots we didn't get from the underwater islands, but also the picture frame. Light stick is one of them. We've got those. Is a wall planter, uh, not wall planter, uh, plant shelf, sorry. Basic plant pot we were missing. It's a propulsion cannon, okay. And plant shelf, okay. And now up for air again. I'm not sure if that was that useful. It certainly wasn't as good as the underwater islands. Uh, we do get the laser cutter, which might be handy. We, we may need that. Cooked bladderfish, cooked boomerang, okay. Propulsion cannon and laser cutter. So we've got the tools we need to access the aurora if we need to. Single bead one out of three. Not even sure what that was from. Who knows. Okay, well that's a, a few more bits and pieces ticked off anyway. Let's go to the mountain island now set up the base there so we still need three gold at some point i should have brought the uh whatchamacallit the battery and uh cave sulfur after all i could have made the laser cutter <laughs> it turns out but we may not need it so who knows I'm hoping to get like a sub two hour run in on this at some point. Might be wishful thinking, but. Now, what is there along here? We can maybe pick up some of this stuff. That's good, that's a gold. We need three gold. We may as well grab a bit of extra stuff like diamonds and lithium as well. No fragments. Gonna, we intend to make a wall locker, which means we can store some lithium and stuff in there. We could get the ice store. But I think we'll leave that, because we can get that from a ton of other places. We already had the hatching enzymes, didn't we, I think? Did we? We already have the hatching enzymes? We do. Yeah, we, so we already know the hatching enzymes. So we want to grab a sea crown at some point. I want to scan this. Grab that. I'm just going to ignore the raw. Oh, too many diamonds now. Need another gold. Here we come. Out on the beach. And it's now daytime. So that's handy. And we can overeat on there. We we're going to die, but maybe we don't. Huh? No, we probably still want a death ball. We should have kept that. Huh? We'll grab 
grab another purple tablet from up here. I think we need to grab the one from up back as well. Could be handy. But this is also different check technically to the actual thing itself. So what do we got? Two more things. High capacity O2 tank. Cool. So one of them was that and one of them was the Pathfinder. Cool. That's good to know. So now we can make a bigger tank. Now we're going to go through here, grab a couple of ion cubes, which we're then going to turn into ion batteries. <laughs> so that we don't have to worry about them so much. Battery capacity so much for our sea glide. There we go. Just doing the hundo run, so the run. We don't need those data terminals for anything, but it's just fun to get. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Get the Alright, there we go. Apartment. I should have just built it further to the further back to be honest. So we've got to come all the way down here now. Well we have all the stuff that we need. We don't need to go foraging for anything. We actually remembered to grab the bits this time. And it's daytime. Power restored. That's make a wall locker for some other stuff like lithium and things. Uh ah, oh, I need a I only grabbed one gold. Ooh. That's annoying. Um, I don't ever really need that to be honest, but it's there. So I need two more gold, preferably. Well, there's aerogel as well, that's good. There's gold. Aerogel's good. Well, it was just before it was nighttime, I guess. We only just got power. So we might not be able to make what we want, which is annoying. <laughs> oh, no, it was uh, the eclipse, I think. But now it looks to be getting lighter again. So it's just the eclipse. So for this stuff, I don't need that many diamonds, I don't think, but whatever. We'll have them. Cool. Lithium. I mean, we might want to make high ultra high capacity tank, so it's good to have the extra lithium more than just the what we would normally have, but also we're not making as much plasteel this time around anyway, I guess, so it really doesn't matter. So we just want to have at least eight, I guess. And maybe we need to make a plasteel ingot, maybe we don't. Gotta look. Dodging warpers. Can we survive? Yes, we can. Do we? <laughs> And let's make a couple of ion batteries early. Nice. Um, did picking up the aerogel give us anything? Did it just give us aerogel? Maybe it was just a one of the standard ones still? There must be still some stuff. That's kind of annoying. There must still be quite a few that don't have the extra stuff so yeah if it's not included on the list I guess it just gives us what it normally would that's a bit disappointing never mind but hey we have ion batteries now which is nice uh anything else <laughs> I guess not um cool well let's dump a bunch of this stuff in here or maybe we just take it back with us <laughs> We, it's tricky. Do we want to grab plant materials instead on the way back? Maybe? Or do we actually just want a death warp? Maybe we do just want a death warp. We're gaining health, but we can lose that easily enough. Um, we can just deconstruct the hatch and drop the items here. 
and then just head down. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Oh, we should uh, first swap batteries so we don't lose any of them. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything, re any reason to put anything in there. Yeah. Cool. Deconstruct the hatch. And then just drop those. We can pick up one more thing and we'll keep it. And let's just dive all the way down to the wreck and scan whatever we can find. Engine fragment won't be there. Um, it'll just be nuclear plant, pretty much. The damage from that. Good. Fighter damage is actually appreciated. It means that we can insta die to a Reaper if we want to. Okay, moon pool fragments. We don't know what that is, so we're just going to try and scan it all just in case. <laughs> We have a spare tank if we need it. Be nice if we just grabbed everything and didn't care. Grappling arm. A lot of these we can also get at the Grand Reef if we need to. And possibly the Jelly Shroom Cave and stuff. So it's like. Nuclear Fragment. Oh, that's pretty cool. I want a Nuclear Fragment more than anything, I think. There's a bench, okay. Swap tanks, because I want to find another nuclear fragment. Good. Because that's the more annoying one to find later. That. Grapple arm is also here. Let's do that. Cool. There is some stuff inside, but I kind of don't care. And we'll just grab this other aerogel, and we'll keep that as well. He we died. There's nothing else in the ground. Cool. And then we can check what blueprints we got from those. So we don't know what gave us which, but um, we just have them all. Well, we know the bench was the moon pool, I think, wasn't it? <laughs> See what nuclear reactor gave us. Watch those. Reactor rod. Well, that's a bit boring. Oculus. And that's it. Inch, yeah. Okay. So, still lacking a lot of stuff. But, the important thing is we can now upgrade our O2 tanks. Doubly, though I don't, we don't have the modification station yet, do we? As an internal thing. No. Okay, so we can't upgrade to the ultra high capacity, but we can at least get the high capacity, which is... All we really need to at least explore the Jelly Shroom Cave. So that, that, oh, we're going to need some, uh, some O2, aren't we? Or some, uh, titanium rather. Oh, oh, and we have some extra gold that can just go in here for now. Quite a lot of extra gold, in fact. Pull all of that out, so just two, um, two salvage. Cool. Oh, there's a silver right there. Good to know for later. So, with the higher capacity tanks, do we now do bulb zone maps? Uh, we could also now make the laser cutter. No, we'll need one measly titanium to be able to actually make the laser cutter. Uh, so that means we need a limestone and for it to not be copper. Kind of going the wrong way for anything useful. So, there we go. Oh. Running away, running away. So we'll have the laser cutter in case we want it. That'd be nice. It's good to have those tools. Um, so purple tablets we can plunder. 
the uh, one of the caches now. So now I guess we could go south or we could go up to the bulb zone. Hmm. If we go up to the bulb zone, do we just want to do that on the way to going through to the mountain base and getting everything? I think that might be what, what to do. Which we could just do now anyway, I guess. Just have all the plant materials with us. So it's like one, one, two, three, four, and one. Doesn't leave much room for anything else is the problem. I'd really rather gather all of them sooner rather than later. And like come back here first. Yeah, maybe we just go... Now let's just grab this for a start. I want safety base. I want to be able to just save my inventory, I guess. So I can grab a quartz easily enough. Okay, let's go... Jelly Shroom Cave first, I guess, since it's right here. <laughs> May as well. So Jelly Shroom Cave first. Grab what we can. And then head north, I think. Go through bulb zone. We're probably getting close to explosion time anyway, so we might get screwed on that. We should probably go in bulb zone first instead. And we could then just work our way all the way through. We don't need as many materials at least, so... I don't know. Spotlights. Power cell charger fragment. Didn't we already get that? Yeah, we did. Oh, whatever. Thermal plant fragments. That. Don't know what it is, but we'll get it. Yeah, this will have loaded in previously. That's the thing. Yes, we have. Chair we have. Filtration machine takes for a scan. Purpose room. We won't know exactly what gave us which, but it doesn't matter too much. The main thing is just getting some more blueprints. Oh, that gives us a marker in case we want it. Here. Data box, wall shelves. Okay. I should really learn to just not pick things up if we don't want them. But. <laughs> Form suit grappling arm, okay. Wall planter. Swim charge fins, okay. Uh, observatory. Have we picked anything up that we care about? Or should we just get it from down here, come to think of it? It might just be quicker. Picked up some titanium, and I think that's about it. Uh, we want to grab the fish too, don't we? So let's swap tanks we do want to grab the uh, oculus and my eye oculus thank you and now we need to find my eye they're often around the uh, way down i think yeah right here in fact <laughs> okay drop them all right cool let's get out of here i think that's everything check what blueprints we've got and head north. Not used to the life prob beacon being so far backwards. So what have we got? We still don't have lubricant. That's going to be a problem. Cured hoop fish. Okay. Uh, it's all down here so it's all nothing useful it seems. Hull reinforcement, soul charger, grapple arm, power transmitter, floodlight. Build a double bed, plant shelf, wall shelves, it gets nothing useful. Okay. <laughs> well, the only thing useful was the information that there was nothing useful. <laughs> Alright. So, red grass cave for sea crown. We need to pick up a single quartz on the way as well. So we can make a safety base, saving our inventory. Fill up our 
on row two tank. Got plenty of safety time, so that's all good. And we'll head to the bulb zone before things explode. There's nothing new here, I don't think. Bar table we've already got elsewhere. Nothing more at that wreck. We're just kind of skirting where the radiation normally is. Creature decoy, we've already got alien containment. We'll grab a mushroom fragment on the way through. We'll keep our eyes open for like hull fragments and stuff as well. So you can get Cyclops bits through here. We're not having to worry quite so much about our O2 as much as we normally do through here. Yeah, or it could just give us nothing. It's giving us Moon Pool, which we already have. I guess we just came close enough that it loaded in earlier. Ah, hull. There we go. Hull fragment. See what that is. We can also get uh, bridge fragments, I think, but we already know about them. Hull fragment. Does it just give us hull fragment? Or does it just... Why is it not showing up? Nope, it didn't. What's one out of three? Nuclear reactor. Okay, so that's probably what that was then. Um, do, 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 do. We do have a spare tank, and it's a big one. We'll scan some of the stuff outside here. A couple of data boxes, and then head up for air. Okay, the data box is not there. Interesting. Do you already know whichever that one was? Robed. Exterior grow beds, no power transmitters around or anything either. Can't remember what the light stick was, we're gonna get it. Next year. <laughs> Once again, it could always just make a safety base and die, but meh. We still didn't go get the sea crown, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I always forget to get the sea crown. Uh, do we go back for it now? It's an awful long way. Whichever way we do it. I guess we'll just go now. Such an idiot. It's because I didn't go past the uh, thing like I normally do. I just need to have it in my brain that whenever I'm doing that initial route, grab the sea ground. Whenever you go to that red grass wreck, grab the sea ground. So I want to have the hatching enzymes crafted before I go through the lava zone. I know it, so why wouldn't I? And here's the room. So we've got overnight before the aurora explodes. So this is the right time to be doing it, turns out. But we've been going for a little while. I think that, yeah, I probably got a bad radiation warning. Otherwise, it might have already exploded by now. So, yeah, definitely do need to do the bulb zone earlier. But it's always nice to have the higher capacity tank when you do so. So, you know, I need one at least <laughs> to think of it. Uh, okay. Sea crown. These ones the closest, I guess. Whee! Yeah, grab that and not mushrooms. Don't want to explode the wrong thing. Okay, now we can go through to the bulb zone. Wrong way. So, bulb zone. What is there in the wreck? There's a thing we do have the laser cutter so we can actually exp um, explore all the way to the bottom and check what the reinforced suit data box is assuming we don't already have it Then the far one, we already know alien containment, we already know water filtration, and the still suit is always the still suit, it seems. So that's not usually useful. So maybe we just go to 
life pod 12. Oh, we've already grabbed the repulsion cannon one too, so life pod 12 won't even have anything for us. We've pretty much eliminated everything that the other wreck or the other areas in the bomb zone are going to give us. I guess that's a that's actually kind of a good point is that you either go to the underwater islands or the bulb area. Well, like coming here is good for the crew bed and stuff, but you can also go to just the uh, legacy base, like both of them, on the floating island for the crew beds. Because the indoor one is in one of the bases up top. Uh, Thermoblade, okay, well, that could be handy. I, I need to have the, um, I need to have the modification station before that's useful, but <laughs> it is good for being able to eat things. Uh, light stick we've already done. Laser cutter we can find, so we can get through the door down here for that. Instead of the repair tool. You can then just deconstruct the wreck to get out. <laughs> Makes it a bit easier. Because we've gotten everything. Once you've picked up both data boxes, you can just destroy the wreck. Bar ah, table, okay. Nutrient block. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna eat it just yet because I intend to die, but. In fact, do I just drown now? Because again, I... Well, we need a base, we need to save our inventory regardless. I don't think I have time to then deconstruct the hatch again afterwards, do I? Maybe I do. You know what? I think I do. Cool. We don't care about the others because LifePod 12 has Repulsion Cannon, which is also at Underwater Islands. Further wreck has alien containment, also underwater islands, still suit, always the still suit, and two other places it could be anyway. So we're done there. Water filtration machine we've already gotten. Yeah. Happy with that decision. Cool. Um not happy with the spawn though. <laughs> now we can eat that. So we have sea crown, bull bush, and mushroom. So what we need is ice stalk and ghost weed. Uh, I should have got ghost weed. Where else is Ghostweed? Is it only in the Lost River? Can't remember. Might be in the Blood Kelp Trench. Where else is Ghostweed? Subnautica Ghostweed. <laughs> I've never paid enough attention before. Deep biomes, Blood Kelp Zone and Bob Zone. Yeah. I mean, I can hold. I'll see if it's in the um, Blood Cult Trench, I guess. Well, they can go in there for now. Hopefully that's good enough. Uh, I need another couple of titanium to have another safety base. So life pod 7, next target. Um, bu 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 bu. I've just messed up my windows, I realized. So let's just move that to get things back to where they were. <laughs> cool. Let's reset my water and everything. It's nice. Scan that. The extra titanium. Okay, so life pod 7. Is there anything at the... There's a couple of data boxes at the near wreck, isn't there? It's mostly just data boxes the Grand Reef wrecks. I don't know if they're ones that I've already got or not. I need to remember to just go in from underneath. But the secondary area seems to be all that you need. God, it's dark in here. <laughs> Even at daytime, it just... This biome is so dark unnecessarily when it's not that deep. It's a bit bizarre. Now where the hell is this life pod? It's over here somewhere, I think. 
very easy to lose your way. Here we go. The unusual doll is Bronzu Torpedo. <laughs> cool. I stalk we can get here. Good. So we don't forget. That's that. We have a spare tank, to be honest, so let's just go down here now. Um, Spadefish we've picked up. 30 seconds. Does it be any fragments? Moonpool we already know about. Let's just swap tanks now. Thermal plant we already know about, I think. Well, we know about, but we haven't cleared it, so let's just clear it. It's fine. Um, ba -ba -bum. beacon. <laughs> All right. Well, we have that now. Bench we already have. Grapple arm we already have. Scanner room we don't care about. I'm really sure. Drill arm I thought we already had. I can't remember. Oh, this just goes all the way through there. Okay. Let's go in the back and go through that other bit. I'm going to have the bladderfish to be able to eat. It's a PDA. Grapple arm I think we already have. Isn't there? Yeah, here it is. Go through here. I mean, if I die, I don't really lose anything, I don't think. Yeah, there is another one here. Cook, spade, fish, tech, already in PDA. Okay. <laughs> well, that was valuable. <laughs> there we go. And let's just eat that bladder fish for a little bit of peace of mind. We've got plenty of time to go up. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> So the only thing waiting for us in the Deep Grand Reef is Orange Tablet and High Capacity, no, Orange Tablet and Single Bed, sorry, uh, and Shield Generator data box, technically. Um, filtered Water, yay, we finally know how to make Filtered Water, I'm so glad. Thermoblade we got earlier. Edo arm, sonar upgrade, bar table, still no, the vehicle upgrade console and the modification station are two that you always want to be able to get because they unlock a ton of stuff and um, they give like 10 extra checks each or something. So all of the things that you normally learn, like the thermoblade for example, um, by unlocking it. There's a PDA over there, we want to go up here instead. So we can scan the bulkhead, we can get another purple tablet. It's pretty much just the bulkhead though I think isn't it really? Because I already have purple tablet from the mountain so coming here is not that useful. Already have both grow beds as well. Really is just picking up an extra purple tablet is nice for going down into cache, I guess. And that's just scanning the bulkhead. So I've already got the data box equivalent. Grab that, why not? And we come, we can get a spare battery, but we have ion batteries, so we don't care. We just come up here and scan the bulkhead. Please don't interrupt my scan. I can hear those cave crawls. Bulkhead door has given me light stick. 
Yay! <laughs> Not useful. Well, let's drop down here. And we put ourselves in a decent spot to go down to the further wreck, hopefully. Should be the walkway that the treaders go across, and we just kind of go off to the right of that from this direction, I think. I don't know, I usually end up finding my way there one way or the other. I mean, I'm either going to find the wreck or the void. It's going to be. On the two. There's the wreck. Okay. It's the wreck today and not the void. We can scan the cool to double bed. We can check the data boxes. There's one over there that still exists. The one down here also still exists. What do we got here? Cooked cooked fish. Fantastic. And vending machine. Okay. I'm sure that was a vending machine last time too. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, where's the gap? It's always further down than I expect. Okay, there is a lot to this wreck, but the only relevant bits pretty much is this. <laughs> Builds a double key. Lubricant! Okay, that was useful. That's, that's worth the trip. Um, kind of think about wall shelves as one that I've not actually scanned yet, but I can't remember where I get those outside of the Aurora. There's a couple of wrecks, but... Um, hmm, I have a spare tank. I wondering what my best play here is. Go up from here. I don't know if I want to go down to the Deep Grand Degacy base or not. I mean, I get the orange tablet by going down there. It's not that useful though. That's a couple of checks. Could have just died and respawned before I swapped my backup tank. I should have done that. You've got to do that before you swap to your backup if you're going to do that, because the backup doesn't refill. Only your primary tank refills when you respawn. Still looking for ghost weed too. Well, let's just go down to the Degacy base. It's going to be a better part of a minute to get there. where you almost want to just make a safety base up here maybe Actually, that's not a bad idea i should have gone further this way first and yeah, we're just wasting time and oxygen we can grab bladderfish to give us a little bit of extra time too Safety base. Save inventory and location. Oh, there's the Aurora exploding. We're not going to be watching it this time because I'm going down. <laughs> but that'll give us some extra checks in form of the normal radiation suit unlocks. But we're making this a one way trip, basically. Five, four, three, two. No longer have the nuclear waste disposal to worry about. So it's just the single bed down the bottom. Engine blueprint. Okay, well that was useful. <laughs> Cyclops engine blueprint and decoy. Okay, well I theoretically need that. And we come. This is a separate check. Prawn suit, okay. Sure, we'll do that. And um, data box through here. Modification station. Excellent. Okay, no, that's great. Now we can upgrade our tanks for later. 
Uh, and it's just that. Nothing else. Alright, well, well, now we can drown. Don't need those. Uh, I think I already have those. That's fine. Respawn. Cuts out a bit of travel time. So, Sparse Reef, there's not really much to check. We can grab some materials, but... Grab a salt, why not? <laughs> we'll want to save our inventory as well. A bit later. Um, yeah, what's normally here? We've already got some lithium back home. The reinforced dive suit, we already have checked the data box of in the bulb zone. Fire reactor we already know is useless. I should have, yeah, that's the thing, is I wasn't clearing these if I didn't need the blueprint, but I should actually clear them because then it stops them showing up elsewhere. That's the whole point of doing that. I guess I can grab some rubies. I might need those. Should have grabbed some earlier, to be honest. Just grab a couple of them. So power cell charger won't show up here because we've already got that. Um, there's some... Okay, torpedo arms. Apparently we don't have everything yet. Oh, so whatever this is, we'll get. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but we're gonna get it. Reinforced dive suit. Okay, well, that could be Andy. We might make it again. We'll need a couple extra diamonds if we want to. We could. Uh, I'll need some extra shale if I'm going to do that too, which is not wanting to turn up. Blood oil. Ah, there is ghost weed here. Excellent. See, I've just never paid attention. <laughs> There's the Gabe's feathers. As well. I usually pay more attention to that because I'm usually needing it for thunder or something. Uh, let's just drop that. Swap tanks. Get another few shale for some diamonds preferably. Diamonds would be good. Well done. So I can't remember how many I have back at base. I know I've got a bunch, but I can't remember whether it's enough. Probably is. I would need five. Gold's always useful too. Cool. That'll do. Really sure that's plenty. Need to get some uh, deep shrooms as well. Uh, and uh, I need to get the... Oh, I can drop the orange tablet because I'm not going to use it. I don't care about that. I can drop the salt because I'll get that later. That's fine. Because I want the ion cubes as well and I won't have enough room for everything. They do keep the ion cubes, I think. So I can do them as a one-way trip. I can't remember if there's a distinct data box in the blood kelp trench, but I don't think so. I think it's normally just nuclear fragments. <clears throat> so, go down into the cache. I guess we can do that first. Four. We don't even really need them, do we? Old habits die hard. <laughs> like, technically, I don't think I even need to get these. I need... Well, I, two would be handy. It would be nice to have two ion cubes to make it quicker in the PCF. But then we're wasting the time coming down here. I'm not going to need to make the ion power cells. But it's nice to know that I've gone through the motions of, if I did, then I've at least gotten everything that I need. So it's the principle of the thing. So we've got all the plant materials. We can make the hatching enzyme as soon as we get back, and then we can just go straight off to the lava zone. Go up here. 
bridge fragment again I should have cleared even though I knew that it wasn't useful hull was engine fragment I think absurdly no that's the nuclear reactor that's right. something else was engine fragment that's all of those bridge fragments over there let's grab three of these Yep, and we did grab three. We had exactly the amount that we needed. Make the wreck disappear and then save our inventory in it. And then do that. And then do that. Oh, okay. No, that's empty. Never mind, we're dying here. <laughs> Hope there's nothing that I needed. There's technically one extra data box that could have been useful, but we'll find out. Oh well. <laughs> I thought that I had my spare tank to swap to, but I didn't. Never mind. I kept everything that was important to keep at least. Let's grab a salt so that I can craft a hydrochloric acid Okay, so do we know polyaniline? We don't yet know polyaniline, okay. Um, let's just stash a bunch of this stuff. Oh, we want a... Get one of those. Um, put those in there. We want a lead out. I need just a loose titanium as well. Or the modification station. Here's a limestone. Perfect. Well, if I even need a copper, the next limestone is a copper. <laughs> so let's make modification station. Squeeze that in there. <laughs> Put my wall locker a little bit too close, I think. Um, and now we can get a empty battery or thereabouts there we go make the thermo blade useful for eating cool now we want to grab these things out and make the hatching enzyme that is all the stuff out from there now we can upgrade our o2 tanks because that's just absurd for us Two of those in there, not that we're going to need to make them I doubt, but we can at least. Oh, we don't actually have the um, materials to make the reinforced dive suit, that's right, because we need uh, synthetic fibers for that, uh, and for that I would have needed to actually keep some blood oil, which I didn't. Do I care? Probably not. I don't think I do. And we'll just get enough... Um, titanium for a safety base instead cool uh, I think we are ready for a trip downstairs now yeah I just need four titanium and we should be good so what do I oh hello blueprints 20 I just realized so I think that I something oh because I got the multi uh, modification station of course so that gave me a ton of stuff and I'm guessing it probably gave me the vehicle upgrade console too. Blue tablet, good to know, good to know in advance. Um, grav trap, reach decoy, launch platform, sweet. So I can actually start doing this process as well and find out what I need. So that's kind of handy. There's the engine blueprints. We don't know how to make the rest of the cyclops yet. Shield generator this time. Huh. Air reactor, power cell charge, yeah, modification station unlocked. A bunch of stuff. 
Being machine, unusual dull. Doesn't look like it gave me the um, vehicle upgrade console though, so that's still gonna give me a bunch of stuff when I figure out where that is. Uh, can we make the modifications to the mobile vehicle bay yet? I can't remember. Yes, we can. Okay. Um, we don't have a free power cell this time though. So I guess I do want that extra copper. Oh no, I don't. Yes, I do. Uh, let's make another battery so we can make a power cell. And then we'll go grab some creep vine so that we can make some lubricant because we don't normally bother. Um, didn't take my right click for some reason. Power cell. Just leave while that's making. Grab three. Why not? Yeah, that was four, whatever. Should also grab some more titanium if I see some. Is that stalker been hoarding salvage again, or has he gotten lazy? He's gotten very lazy, it seems. Or someone's just stole it all from him. Also possible. Anyone? <laughs> seems not. <laughs> okay, well, there's some some free titanium. I was hoping just to grab some salvage on my way back. And, so I need to make some, um, oh, I don't have enough room. So I need to make some ingots still, I think. I made a couple earlier, but I don't think I made enough. We'll find out. This is the slow intermission part of the run. <laughs> We're just kind of moseying along, making ourselves bits that we need. Um, yeah, so I've got one, but I need two, ideally. I'm also going to need another computer chip. Mobile vehicle, there we go. Let's just pop that in there for now, so I don't need it yet. A couple of... Salvage. So then I can make another ingot so that I can make a relaunch platform. And then we can see what the next bit needs. Because it's not the usual plasteel and stuff. <laughs> Not the usual assortment of things. Two of those, one, two, three, four of those. Cool. Let's go make that. I don't know which way is going to be the best for releasing the platform. Actually, I want to go the other side, I think. So that way it's further away from the radiation, if nothing else. I mean, putting my base down, I should have put it over here instead, because then it would have actually been closer to where the platform would be. Just in case I do need to back and forth a little bit for uh, crafting things. Okay, that's probably good enough. Okay, what's that unlocked? Has it unlocked anything? Or do I need to check my log? That doesn't seem to have unlocked anything, so I'm going to assume that it's a duplicate. Okay, log time. Um, buh, 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 buh. Analysis. Rocket zero. Oh no, there it is. Just before I found it. That's right, because it's rocket one, and it doesn't happen until it begins. That's right. The other stages it unlocks immediately. So bioreactor? Wow, thanks Rando, that's the same as last time. <laughs> bioreactor. Wiring kit and lubricant. That's the same as last time. Rude. And then we'll see what we need for the rest. So... Oh, oh, I already have one. And I have enough metal as well. Good, that's all. 
We haven't cured ourselves yet, but we can at least get the rocket ready to go and know what we need. Because what we need might be something from downstairs that isn't normal. So it pays to have an idea of our requirements. So that's the bioreactor. So what did that unlock, sorry? Prawn suit reactor. Thermal reactor. Okay, so I need two kyanite from downstairs and two polyaniline. That's rude. Uh, so that means I need more deep shrooms then. Okay. Hmm. Well, I suppose I can go and death warp from that down the same place again. Let's just go there now. It's a one way trip. Actually, no, the deep shrooms are closer anyway. And two kyanite. Do I want to grab some blood oil as well? I might as well. <laughs> then I can make a uh, reinforced dive suit for safety in the lava zone. So, blood cup trench. I'll have to swim back rather than uh, death warping. Just realized I didn't, didn't pick up a spinefish before. That could be relevant. Three of those. Three more of these. I'll grab a couple of salt on the way back too. Drop you now. What did you unlock? Cooked Oculus and cooked Gary for sure. Okay, so nothing useful. <laughs> Whatever. So we we still missing two parts of the Cyclops and one part of the rocket even though we are making the rocket anyway like the next step of the rocket is the bit that we technically don't know how to make so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that whether or not it actually needs it it'll be interesting whether or not it wants us to have oh no it was the gantry first wasn't it was it no we just built the gantry so it's the next part it's the boosters that we don't know how to make at the moment technically but we do we we do but we don't we don't officially know how to make it no, we don't have this let's go slice a spade fish spade fish are quite good because they're slow but we are wearing a good enough pitch. Hello, look close. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Somewhere this way. Went way further south than I thought. Okay, so do 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 do. So hopefully the next one isn't like on jump jet. Actually, I think we've already unlocked the jump jet. That's one of the more annoying ones. Hydrochloric acid, benzene. Oh, I don't have polyaniline yet. Ah. So I need to remember what it was. So it was the prawn suit thermal reactor. So we need two polyaniline. Oh, we need two kyanite anyway. Okay, so we need two polyaniline. We've got the two hydrochloric acid. That's fine. Uh, grab those two out again. Make the synthetic fibers in order to be able to make the... I need one more titanium. Ah, oh, rude. 
Okay. One more titanium. Oh, the next limestone is a uh, um, copper as well. Okay. <laughs> There we go. So we can make a reinforced dive suit. Oh. Um, spear copper. Why not? So. Oh, I was going to take my spear from tank again. Wherever the hell that's got to. Where has it got to? There we go. Big thing. Can't miss it. Alright. So I need safety base materials. Um, technically I don't need those right now. Got a spare ion battery if I need it. How are only at 62%? Let's go. So I need two kyanite. As it, like I need two for the tablet and two for the tablet. Two for the tablet. And two for other oh, reactors. The roar has exploded, so it's going to take the long way around. Um, blah, 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 saying. Probably go through the Lost River if I wanted to, to be honest. But two for the blue tablet, two for the uh, thermal module. Which is not normal. <laughs> Four instead of six, basically, and maybe no sulfur. actually got our first aid kit so I'm just gonna go a bit more as the crow flies and we'll just power through some radiation if we find that we are almost dead then we'll bug out <laughs> but I can take a bit of this I want to over scan some things that's right for the uh, spare titanium safety base maybe I don't care about the safety base I have so much oxygen, it's really not a concern. Health will be the main concern, which I'm not doing myself any favours for at the moment, come to think of it. <laughs> yep, I'm going to need that. And I'm still not out of it. Hmm. Maybe this was a bad idea. Ooh. We're over the mushroom forest. It's an awful long way once it's exploded, though. Yeah, it could have done with another meat kit, quite frankly. Still going. Okay, finally, half health. Oof. That's rough. Okay, we're just going to grab some bulb bush to eat, I think, as well. Maybe we don't care. Uh, let's just go for it. <laughs> what have I got to lose? I've not picked anything up. I'm not going to lose anything. Got a spare oxygen tank full of three minutes of oxygen. I don't need nickel. Or at least I don't think I need nickel. <laughs> if I do, I don't know about it yet. If I find that I do need nickel... I'll go to the Lost River because it's easier. <laughs> so shopping list for down here is pick up the lava fish. Detecting volcanic activity and several unusual and just do the usual thermal plant stuff. It's nice to have a little bit of stability in an otherwise very unstable run. <laughs> and I'm not just meaning me. It's a case of what the next stages are going to need. So what do we got? Just trying to think. So, stage one... So building the platform as normal. Gantry was bioreactor. Boosters are 
the thermal reactor module. So that means fuel reserve is next. And then there's the um, the top, the cockpit. And we still haven't actually unlocked the Cyclops fully, which would be normally a prerequisite to building the cockpit, is building the Cyclops and the shield generator. We're not caring about the raw materials for those, but I thematically would like to at least know the blueprints so that I would have been able to build them as if it was required. Magmarang, choose you. And I, I, we will continue to look for <laughs> Bloody invisible wall again. How do I end up in the same place twice? Invisible wall at the top of a lava fall, which is, you don't want to be dropped down into the lava fall accidentally. Just as well, I don't care about nickels. I'm not seeing any. Do I just drop my spare tank down here too, come to think of it? Because I don't really need it. I do get eye eyes in the lava castle. Let's just swap to that. It's just as well we're not taking any damage through here because of the reinforced tank. But that does mean that we're in kill range of Kevin. <laughs> because of the extra radiation damage we took. He seems not too interested, thank you. Yeah. Oh. He's over there. This should be fine. Should be fine. <laughs> Sounds further away than he is, but he should be fine. <laughs> Now, I, I, I need an I, I through here. Well, there's the two kyanite that I need for either the tablet or the rocket. Either way. And let's just release that fish. Now I need to find another fish. There we go. Red I, I. Pop. Okay, so there's tons of kyanite in there if we need it, but we may not need it. But at least we'll have the portal down here unlocked for if we do. Um, I do have the purple tablets, that would have been a really bad mistake to make. <laughs> so we should have like four blueprints, we only have three blueprints, okay interesting. And then this should give us another couple down here. We're also just getting the ion cube to unlock the portal. Hey, 096B, welcome, welcome. What's good? This game. This game is good. As is the mod that we're using to play randomizer. Let's grab a few things there. So five blueprints, sure enough have been unlocked. I was expecting six because I thought that the blue tablet was going to give me one, but it didn't for some reason. Floop. Let's go make a second blue tablet. We'll go cure ourselves. You know, a little bit low on fluids. Means we're gonna run a little bit slower, unfortunately, but otherwise not an issue. We are most likely going to be death warping after this. So we need to build the hatch again. Yeah, yeah. Blue tablet. Okay. What other things have we unlocked? 
Old suit propulsion cannon depth module one. Still don't know how to do the fuel reserve. Good Gary fish, cooked spine fish. Yay! <laughs> oh, bridge blueprint. Okay, so we're one step close to that. Missing the hull still though. Missing hull and oh we know the shield though, don't we? Yeah, we know shield generator. So we're just missing Cyclops hull and the Neptune boosters. Which is what we're actually building at the moment is the is the boosters. Which is kind of amusing. Um what am I doing? No, I'm keeping those, that's right. Cool. I have the two blue tablets that I need. Get out of here. So now we've got to make our way through to the PCF. Do we pick up some of the other materials that we would normally need? What we would what we excuse me, what would we normally need for that? That eh, doesn't matter. What's going to be the most twisted logic is if the part of the rocket unlocks the Cyclops hull and then the analysis from building the Cyclops unlocks the um, gantry, not gantry, fuel reserves. Why am I picking up these? I don't need the <laughs> habit. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Not going to pick up any more. We have too much kyanite. If I was going to pick up anything, it should probably be nickel, because it's more annoying to find. Yeah. No, that's sulfur. Never mind, I was thinking exhibit A. No, that was sulfur. Should have gone back the other way. I'm just kind of mindful that last time we needed to build an upgrade, or needed the bits to build an upgrade, that did require nickel. Yeah, what are the chances of it happening twice, right? <laughs> Be fine. At this point you could probably like do a little bit of process of elimination and see, okay, what blueprints are remaining and what's likely to be needed. <laughs> Let's think. There's meant to be a little bit of soft lock sort of protection involved. I don't know how well it works, but we are really running out of water. <laughs> I I need to drink something. Yeah, that's not good. Doesn't slow us down with the sea glide, or it shouldn't do. Not on this version, at least. I, I can't remember if it does in later versions. But, uh, still not great. You Meanwhile, Flippy, what are you doing to the PCF? You are getting stuck inside, if you're not careful. Well, I'm going to take a little bit of damage there. He is stuck inside. That's... fun. Please don't kill me. He's trying. <laughs> he's still in here I'm walking so slow he, he is in here he's in the walls they're in the goddamn walls Translating local alien hi it's big, just tentacles and fins sticking through the wall that's fun I need to eat some gel sacks or something or grab some bladderfish to process in the base <laughs> on my way before I go because I'm walking so slowly when I'm swimming it's fine but I'm then going to be taking damage as well which is a worry I mean I can just eat something as well I can just grab something with my demo blade and eat it that'll be better than nothing Are you here to play? I'll be going a little bit longer others came here they built these walls. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. Bladderfish. And instead, we'll grab you from the way. 
There's a gel set there, right too, so let's kind of grab that for some security in the meantime. It's a little bit of something. So, you need to come over here. To play outside this Your place. routing is getting we very confused. So long. The others built a passage yeah, to reach the world outside. No, I I see, come over here. For this freedom, here. But yeah, thank you. They could not hear me. Weird movement. It's because she was going if you around help us, there, but... I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. I guess we can now go down here. Are you going to blow the bubbles away? <laughs> Took him long enough. Okay, here we go. And then we want to make a filtered water just to keep us going. <laughs> and then, uh... You construct a hatch. Then we've got everything that we need. Oh, we do Wait, we don't have polyaniline yet, do we? I'm going to have to look up what gives me polyaniline, I think. Because I'm running out of checks. I bet it's the aurora. Shortcutting the aurora is probably going to bite me. So much for a quick run. <laughs> that keep this going we have useless things keep the materials so we need the purple tablet on our way up we're now running full speed again we really don't want to be going up here when you're just crawling your way up that would be really miserable <clears throat> I don't know if the reinforced suit protects against fall damage. Yes, we're going to find out. Because normally this would be enough to kill me. It'll be interesting to see whether or not it does. I could just just basic finger prick or something, but no. Massive kneeling. Just gonna quickly give you tetanus after you've cured yourself. <gasps> no, it does. Okay, so reinforced suit protects against full damage too. That's fine, probably. That should be enough. So, walk back to life pods, and then see what happens. Um, wrong way. Oh, I didn't check if we had polyaniline yet. We do not. Okay, I'm going to check that and see what I need to do for polyaniline in case it's something simple that I've missed or in case it's something that I'm just literally blocked on because I actually need it now <laughs> so polyaniline poly there we go never spelled it correctly analysis base upgrade console oh okay so it's one that I need the vehicle upgrade console from what gives me that Wait, really? <laughs> it is something simple that I've missed. Something that would have given me a lot of peace of mind very early on. We went straight past it like three times? <laughs> do, do, 
do do do. It's not the counter this time. I think we got that. I think we got it from the southern one. I'm gonna double check. Did we scan the counter? It's hard to tell because it all glues together after a while. No, we got the counter. No, it wasn't the trash can. I'll, I'll let you guess what it was. <laughs> My direction might be giving it away to some. I could have sworn I went there, but I must be thinking of the last run that I did. Hmm, it's like bingos and stuff where you think, oh have I done that yet? Have I collected that yet? And then it turns out you haven't, because you thought it was a different run when you had different objectives. Trash can I think I scanned, yeah. But apparently, we didn't come in here. No, we did. We did. Then something's broken. Because it says that polyaniline or base compass unlocks base upgrade console. And then base upgrade console is meant to give me polyaniline. But we don't have the base upgrade console, which is the vehicle modification uh, console. Interesting. So data box compass gave us something different, it seems. I can't remember what it gave us, but I thought I'd been here earlier. Huh. That's interesting. Can I spawn it in? Spawn data box compass? No, spawn compass data box. Spawn data box underscore compass? No. Let's go to the go to the surface and let's just do some quick googling. Um Zipnotica Compass. Data box. They don't really have a special debug thing, I don't think. Well, they, they probably do, but I mean, you can go like target, but yeah, compass data box, yeah, but you know, that clearly didn't actually work, right? So that doesn't matter, really, does it? So even if we do spawn compass data box what was it I was just looking at it and I already got yeah compass data box yeah. so it doesn't even like me doing that anyway yeah okay so it doesn't even like doing that but that's interesting so data boxes are a bit messed up because yeah base upgrade console unlock base upgrade console and there we go now we've got it and now it gives us everything that it was going to give us including polyaniline but it was meant to be the compass data box that did that for us so that's interesting we might have to investigate that a little bit see i didn't have to feel bad after all <laughs> i was feeling stupid that i had missed it nope it was just broken okay something to investigate hmm. well we can now make the next step of the rocket anyway and then see what it does for us <laughs> if it's going to be too twisted then we might just give ourselves the materials we need rather than going and finding them because that part can be tedious almost just need to grab a sample of everything as you go by everywhere just in case so you don't know what you're gonna need you might need benzene there's nothing that's really too far away to be a problem though just take some time at least we're not having to build the cyclops or will we <laughs> that's the other thing we're missing actually i should look um oh unless that gave us the cyclops as well did it 
Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, yep, that gave us the hull blueprint as well. Yeah, it was all locked behind the uh, the base upgrade console. <clears throat> Which itself unlocks compass. So, yeah, we now have the compass from that. Maybe that's why it got confused. I'll need to go back into the, the recording and see what it was that I actually got from that data box and therefore why it got confused. I think that's what we use to make polyaniline. Yes. And that and what was it? So it's a prawn suit thermal module, one wiring kit. Wiring kit. Next. Okay. One step closer. And yeah, now we have the Cyclops and stuff, so I don't feel bad about shortcutting that. We just don't have to build the damn thing, but at least we know how we could have. Oh, was it the... I wonder if it was the last piece of the... the Neptune as well. Nope, we're still missing the boosters, so it'll be interesting. Does it let us know? Ingredients... Okay, so ingredients unknown, but it, it lets us build it anyway. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then there's four that have unlocked. Cooked peeper, cured peeper, cured bladderfish, and cured spinefish. And I don't know which of those it was. Well, let's just grab a peeper. That's the easiest thing to grab, isn't it? On the off chance that it was cooked peeper, grab a peeper and a bladderfish. How's that? And then if we need to grab a bit of salt, then we can do that. I've already forgotten what the other one was, but we'll just have to hope that it wasn't that one. Uh, bladderfish? Excuse me? Or not. Okay, well. We'll hope it's not bladderfish then. <laughs> Is it just a peeper again? For like the second time in a row? Fuel reserve. It's a peeper. Okay. <laughs> and then it gives me the thing of cooking it. Okay, so what does that now unlock? <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. You're not supposed to get the boosters from building the fuel reserve. That that's not supposed to happen. Razor. <laughs> Razor, it doesn't work. Ah, <laughs> oh, funny. Okay, well. I mean, thankfully it doesn't matter because you don't need the blueprint because we've substituted it with something else, but I think we might just need to exclude the whole rocket thing. Funny though it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit twisted. It's a little bit broken. Um, so we've got the materials to make the aerogel. And I can rustle up enough titanium to... And I've even got some spare lithium for that. And, um, oh, uh, what's this nickel that I seem to have had in my pocket? <laughs> I'm just going to do that for that. Uh, if I'm doing that, then let's just go, um, item titanium got as well. And we'll at least do that. For brevity. We'll just do that. And that's what we would have needed to make the boosters originally. If we'd had to. If the boosters weren't made with a prawn thermal reactor. And then the fuel reserve wasn't a peeper, and if the cockpit wasn't the boosters. <laughs> Don't have the required ingredients, apparently. What did I do? Oh, wiring kit. I'm missing a wiring kit. Okay, well, I, I know I have that back at base, but there you go. There we go. Now we can go. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. It's not supposed to be circular, I don't think. Um, I, I think that the... 
Unless there's something missing in here. Oh, no, Rocket 4 doesn't have Rocket Stage... It's got Rocket Stage 2, but it doesn't have Stage 1 listed as a soft lock. Well, that's a bit of a... Uh, let's, let's just add that in right now. <laughs> oh, dear. We're just hitting all of the edge cases lately. We still don't know what the problem was with the... Uh, with the data box. We're gonna have to double check on that one. Well, we've already seen the ending cutscene once, so we're not gonna play that again. We've messed around enough here. Now, we've got a decent amount of stuff. There's still a few things missing, of course, but we've now unlocked the required elements. So, required to finish the run is the ability to make all bits of the rocket, to make all bits of the cyclops including the shield generator because that's a prerequisite of the rockets which means also knowing how to make polyaniline and its component parts so there's a few branching pieces of prerequisite logic going on everything else is just gravy in terms of how you get there there's a lot of trash that you don't really need um but yeah we we mostly got there so it was a, a bit of a problem with one of the data boxes. I'm going to go watch some footage and figure out what happened there. But for now, uh, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time for more, more madness.